Hi, I'm Hendrik Lüsch. I'm marine natural products researcher at the University of Florida. Over the past few years, we have made several trips to the Florida Keys, including the dry tortugas, and we have observed and the cyanobacterial diversity in this area. And it's one of the areas of greatest biodiversity in the continental United States. Cyanobacteria are believed to be the oldest organisms on Earth. They're around for a couple of billions of years. And they had a long time, obviously, to evolve chemistry, chemical weapons that they use to defend themselves and to compete with other uh, organisms in the environment for space and for nutrients. So we exploit these chemical weapons they produce for biomedical purposes. It turns out that these chemical weapons can be used to treat cancer and other diseases. Today we're going to Fort Zachary Taylor State Park. Hello. We have a research uh, collection permit uh, to do some sample collections today. So that's a nice spot in Key West where we have collected cyanobacteria before. Successfully we already discovered several new molecules from that particular location. Some of them are already published. So we're here with uh, a number of my students and also my long-term collaborator, Valerie Paul, a chemical ecologist who is well-versed with cyanobacteria and their habitats. Hey. That's the office for today. For today. We, we collected in this park before and specifically at those rocks over there, we found cyanobacteria associated with those rocks. They're overgrowing certain areas of these rocky formations and we have determined that there is an interesting compound in one of those cyanobacteria. So we need to get out there again and uh, collect more. We're going to take them to the calmest spot first and, and just make sure they're comfortable snorkeling and everything there. That's going to be down at the far end of the beach where it's a little bit protected from the waves. I've got your bag, so don't worry about it. You can take it. You can certainly call it a treasure hunt. In contrast to other treasure hunts, <laughs> we are looking for a different color, different substance. The cyanobacteria essentially are the slimy, more slimy, uh, of slimier consistency. And we encountered that in various morphological forms, so little tiny balls or covering an entire surface of rocks, somewhere a little hairier. We found lots of stuff, more than we anticipated. Uh, quite a variety of cyanobacteria actually we encountered. Most importantly, the one we were really going after, we did indeed find again. It was unfortunately in an area that was somewhat hard to access because the waves were crashing into the rocks and we were struggling a bit, but we succeeded. We got some of the cyanobacteria and we're pretty confident that's the one we were looking for. Well, next thing will be that we label everything properly, log it into our, into our book, assign numbers and write down everything we know about this based on the location and physical appearance underwater. So we, we take detailed notes at this point to make sure that we don't miss anything in case we want to come back down the road next month, next year or in a few years that we have accurate descriptions of all these uh, species we have been collecting today. We're going to anchor outside the park boundary tonight and then in the morning we're going to go in and then you guys can get off. Well, 
Well, we're heading this way. That's where the dry tortugas are located. So we just departed Key West and going further west to the Fort Jefferson. We definitely had a hunch that uh, we could find something interest interesting in the national park uh, of the dry tortugas. So it is a national park. It's difficult to access. You need to have special permits in order to collect samples. And it's one area of very high biodiversity. We pretty much will snorkel around the entire, entire Garden Key, so the entire fort. So we have uh, had success over here in that area where the little dinghy area is located. So we found some cyanobacteria over there and completely different types of cyanobacteria on the other side of the key. So there's not just one cyanobacterium there. It's such a diverse array of cyanobacteria out here. They are genetically very different and that ultimately translates into different chemistry, meaning different chemical compounds that are produced at the location over here, for example, compared with the spot where we encounter cyanobacteria on the other side of the island. So we may find a novel anti-cancer compound over here and a novel antibacterial compound over there and an antiviral compound on the other side of the island. So there's just spectacular diversity which we tap into and exploit for a variety of biomedical applications. One of the problems in marine natural products is really accessibility. So it qu takes quite some effort to actually go to the, those collection sites where we hope to discover the next generation of anti-cancer drugs. We consider the ocean really as a pharmacy. Most of the earth is covered by, by ocean. So if we can get, get to those organisms that potentially produce interesting compounds, then we may be able to access a new generation of drugs. If you consider that over 50% of all the drugs on the market are derived from terrestrial natural products, and considering that over 70% of the earth is actually covered by ocean and only a handful of drugs are derived from the ocean, then you can extrapolate and can imagine how many more drugs are just waiting to be discovered by us and by other groups. Unfortunately, all that research takes a lot of resources, financial resources, and up to this point, we have been able to develop two compounds up to a certain stage through preclinical developments and that took a couple of millions just to get to this stage. This is just for two compounds. Potentially we have so many other additional compounds in the pipeline already discovered, just are waiting to be developed. For everybody is affected by uh, a loved one who has some devastating disease and we just want to alleviate patient suffering. That's our goal, that's why we get up in the morning. It's the last stop uh, in the middle of nowhere, you could say. We're on our way back from the dry tortugas at one of those keys that is inaccessible by car or by foot, so you only can get here by boat, and that's why we're the only ones uh, on this treasure island here. Some of the cyanobacteria and algae we did not encounter again. So that just tells you, you just never know what you, what you find. So the good news is we found a lot of other cyanobacteria and algae that we have not investigated before that may contain the cure for other diseases. Mm -hmm.